praising him already. Amen. Amen. I feel so honored. I feel so honored. Uh, you don't know. To even be part of this occasion. I, mean, I didn't even preach. Just being here. In the awesome presence of you all. And this great man of God. Apostle. Bishop. Prophet. You there. Oh, Alfonso, you there. Y'all can do better than that. Clap your hands for the great man of God. Y'all can do better than that. Let me tell you, you know, it's something, it's something how God works because uh, um, I was on 42nd Street. I posted ahead, um, ministered at another church in the Bronx. And I wasn't led to go. God don't go to every church that I'm asked to unless I'm led by the Spirit. Amen. And then I went down to 42nd Gray to preach. And I saw this security guard standing in front of the building. Yes, sir. And it was something about this man. Holy Ghost said, that's one of my servants. Mm -hmm. And I stopped and said, are you a pastor? Are you a, a prophet? I said, I see an anointing on you. I said, it's strong. It's all over your face. Hallelujah. I said, I see you being on radio. He said, yes. He said, I'm an apostle. I'm an apostle with you there. I said, okay. I heard of you before. Now I saw your love express. Now I recognize you. And I just knew we just connected that day one. And he, that's when he asked me to come that Lord. Sunday. And look how God connected this thing. Yes. Ain't God something? Yes, sir. Look how God connected this thing. That's the Holy Ghost, right? Yes. And my God, and 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 this is not an ordinary man. This is not an ordinary apostle. Right. Amen. Because you got a lot of apostles, but that's right. That's right. everybody in God's apostle. Amen. 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 But I praise God. I feel honored that you just even asked me to preach with these great men of God. So I praise God for you. Hallelujah. I praise God for you. I praise God for the first lady. A first lady, you Dale. Clap your hand for her right now. Praise God. Amen. Praise God for the awesome musician. I'm not going to be long. I'm, I'm well disciplined as well. You know, preachers go long and long and they forget they got other preachers that come behind you. But I'm a very disciplined man. Hallelujah. I'm not a jealous type of preacher either. I love to hear other men of God go forth as well. Amen. So I want to give a word to you. Amen. The Lord gave me a certain word. Turn the book of Mark, chapter number 12. Mark, chapter number 12. And if you can pray with me, if you can stand, and we're going to read in the reverence of the word of God. Excuse my voice, I was preaching on the basketball court in the Bronx. Okay, amen. Yeah, a lot of more souls came to Christ this morning. Hallelujah. I was in Connecticut all, on this week preaching the word and preaching street ministry. And my voice is kind of hoarse, but I feel the, the Holy Ghost on the inside. That's it, Mark chapter number tw uh, 12. We're going to start from verse right. number 29. And I want someone also to give me the book of Praise God. Someone say Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So we're going to start from Mark. Praise God. We're going to go to also. We're going to go to the book of First Corinthians as well. Chapter 12. And we're going to go to verse 29. Can someone read what I just gave Mark? What was that? Mark? 12. 12. And what verse I gave you so far? 29. Can you read it for me? Thank you, man of God. God bless you. Amen. You can take your time. I mean, love the word. Hallelujah. I know you love the word. The pastor is always teaching you the word. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Read. Um, and Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is here. O Israel. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one God. Yes. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Yes. With all thy heart. Someone say all thy heart. All thy heart. With all thy soul. Someone say all, all thy soul. soul. With all thy mind. With all thy mind. With all thy strength. With all thy strength. This is the first commandment. First commandment. And the second is is like. Men, men, namely this Thou yes. shalt love thy neighbor As thyself, as thyself. Carry your hand to Jesus Christ up in here Hallelujah. Now we're going to go to the book of Matthew chapter number Well read, praise God Matthew chapter, I was read with power Beautiful, Matthew chapter 19 I'm going to go to verse 21 If thou wilt be perfect Go and sell, and let's start from verse 17 
Got the rich young ruler that came to Jesus. You remember that story, right? Yeah. We're going to go to actually, we're going to start from verse 15. He laid his hands on them and departed thence. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. And he says unto him, Which? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Verse 21. If thou wilt be perfect, well, you know what, I don't want to skip over verse 20. The young man says unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. Yeah. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrow, for he had great possession. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. May the Lord bless me in the strictures and sanctify in the hearts in Jesus' name. And I'll be getting the first Corinthian later on in the message. I want you to touch your neighbor right now. I want you to shake your neighbor's hand. The Lord gave me this title. Begin to say neighbor very loud. Neighbor. Puppy love. Puppy love. Is not enough. Is not enough. Puppy love. Puppy love. Is not enough. Is not enough. Begin to say neighbor again. Neighbor. A holy man. A holy man. Is an attractive man. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Carry your hand for Jesus Christ right now. Take your job, brother. Thank you. When the apostle Udell um, inboxed me and I saw on the Facebook, he said that the theme is a man that loves God, right? I love that theme. A man that loves God. How many know when the man of God read the scripture where he said, He, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with what? All thy heart, with all thy mind, with all thy soul. Did it said some or all? It said all. That means there's different levels of love. Yes. That's deep right there. There's different levels of love. You know, in a marriage, you know, there's a difference between a wedding and a marriage. Um, a wedding lasts for one day, but a marriage lasts for a lifetime. Can you say amen to somebody? A wedding gets to prepare you for the marriage, but all to keep that marriage working, it takes more than just puppy love. Hello, sir. Amen. There's different levels of love. You got some that love God a little bit. Some God just some just love God halfway. But there's those of you who are sitting here who love God all the way. Get somebody high five and say, I love God all the way. You know that little puppy love that you had when you was in school? That's a little, little love. But you know they had a song that goes, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I want to change that song, all this light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Can you say amen to somebody? God wants all our light to shine, not Amen. just a little bit of light. And our love is going to be tested here. The rich young ruler saw the miracles that Jesus was doing. Everywhere he went, Jesus, we know, was working miracles. The greatest man that ever walked the earth, the king of kings and the lord of all lords, the greatest of them all. The root and the offspring of David, the bright and the morning star. Everywhere Jesus went, he cast out demons. He healed the sick. He even got men out of caskets who was dead. That's some kind of power. Can you say amen to somebody? So everyone wanted to follow Jesus. You know when you're powerful like you are, for want to follow you because they're drawn to the anointed. Yes, God. They're drawn to the anointed. And so this man, uh, Jesus Christ, was not an ordinary man. So everyone wanted to follow Jesus. So here this rich young man said, I want to follow you. What can I do to inherit the kingdom of God? And do we, how, you know, how many know that when you follow Jesus, there's certain things you've got to give up? Yeah. It's a price when it comes to serving Jesus. Come on, tell someone the price is still right. Now, I'm not talking about the price is right, sure. I'm talking about this price is still right serving Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you say amen to somebody? Amen. So a lot of people think that following Jesus is easy. It's not easy. Amen. This is why there's different levels of love. You've got to love the Lord thy God with all, not with some. Because your love is going to be tested. When folks say, I love the Lord, we can jump yeah, and shout with yeah, That's yeah. beautiful. But after we jump and shout, the devil is going to test us. Yes, Lord, teach. Can you say amen to somebody? Amen. Even during the service, the devil is going to test you. Amen. You're going to say, okay, you say you love the Lord, we're going to see. So Jesus told the rich young ruler, he said, well, you know, sell all you have and get to the poor. Well, his face dropped right there. 
Yeah. He's facing his whole aura change. Yes, Lord. Because he wasn't ready to do that. Yeah. Or he wanted to follow Jesus, but he wasn't ready to give up. Yeah. Oh, praise God, yes. And so that's what Jesus said, that it's easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Yeah. There's some things you got to give up. And see what makes Apostle Udell so special that the reason why is he's so anointed because he has character. Hallelujah. Somebody say character. 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 And there's a lot of folks who got the gift but not the fruits. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. You should know them by the fruits, not by the shoots or their rhymes. I like that. Jesus. Can you say amen? Like there's a lot of folks who wear nice shoots, but they're still working roots. Oh, hello, somebody. Can you say amen? Oh, somebody? Amen. You should know them by the fruits and not by the gift. Because the Bible is in the book of Romans chapter 11 verse 29. Now, now the gifts are calling, the gifts and callings of God are out repentance. Right. Jesus said you'll know them by the fruits, not by the gift. Right. You can have a gift to prophesy, which is great. You can have a gift of music and a gift even of preaching the word. But spell the word preach. Preach is spelled P-R-E-A-T-H, right? Yes. Take the P or preach what you got, reach. Take the R or reach what you got, each. That means the preacher is supposed to preach to reach each. If they go going to live right, you cannot yeah, preach to preach each. Yeah. Yeah. Can you say amen to somebody? Amen. Therefore, I got to live what I preach, yeah. not just preach. Can you say amen to somebody? You see, Paul put means to go in the pit and put the souls out the pit. You better teach them to God. So this is the Paul pit right here. And this is why they're giving a street meeting right now because you're pulling souls out the pit. Come on. And the reason why the devil has fought you so hard, Apostle, because I know this didn't just come overnight. I know this anointing just didn't come overnight. Yeah. There's a price that you had to pay. There's some suffering that you've been through. And let me tell you, when you operate the fruits of the Spirit, you are living holy. So I say holy. A lot of pastors and preachers don't preach holiness the way they used to preach holiness. But tell someone holiness is still right. Holiness is still right. The Bible declares the book of Hebrews, chapter number 12, verse 14. Huh? To follow peace with all men for holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. That deals with character. Someone say character. Character. That deals with the character. Deals with your fruits. Fruits. I didn't say gifts. Fruits. Because you can have a gift, but still die and go to hell. Yes. That's why Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter number 7, verse 22, he said, many in that day would say, Lord, Lord, how do we not cast out devils? Come on, somebody. Yes, yes. How do we not done many wonderful works? How do we not prophesy in your name? We have done wonderful works in your name. Yes. What is going to say? Depart from me. He workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Yes. That's scary. You mean that I can prophesy and I can preach the word and still die and go to hell? Yes. You see, it takes more than just puppy love. Yes. Come on, get some high five. And see, it takes more than just puppy love. Hallelujah. But you got to love the Lord thy God with all of your hearts. But not with some of your hearts. But somebody oh. said all. Oh. And you see, you're going to be tested. Because now the churches are falling away now. The Bible declares in the book of 1 Timothy, amen, chapter 4, verse 1. Some in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrines of devils. You turn the word channel now. They're charging you a thousand dollars. I don't want to hear me up here. Come on. We know ministry costs money. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind giving money to this man of God because he's a true prophet. But every person that come on that television doesn't mean they're God's prophets. Right. Can you say amen to somebody? Yeah. Any time they're charging you a thousand dollars and they're already rich, that's a con artist. You don't want to hear me up in the hills. But don't give your money to every preacher. But when you sow your money to this ministry, you're going to get blessed. Why? Because you're sowing to a man who loves God. Hallelujah. That's the thing, right? Come on, get some my high five. Sir. A holy man is an attractive man. I feel to clap your hand for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I want you to encourage many of you women right now. Amen. Many of you women, you really don't even need makeup because you're already beautiful. You really don't even need to wear a miniskirt. Oh, you don't want to hear me. Because you're already beautiful. You see, some of y'all don't like yourself because you have a low self-esteem on yourself. You might have got molested when you was a girl. You might have got raped when you was a boy. And that's why you don't like yourself. I'm here to stop by to tell you that Jesus loves you. Jesus cares about you. And nobody don't love you. Jesus loves you. Come on, get somebody a high five. I feel like preaching right now. And tell somebody, puppy love is not enough. Can you say amen to somebody? And see, Apostle Udell. You see, the Bible said in the book of 1 Corinthians, 
chapter number 12 and verse 28 the bible said and god said some in the church first apostles points apostle you an apostle you see the word apostle means god said not every apostle is of god because the bible said marvel not that satan transformed himself as an angel of light so the devil's not worried about those kind of apostles because they only got puppy love some of them got no love I feel the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says, second every prophet. You are a prophet. You see, you need prophets up in the church. They, they can see things. They can tell when somebody doing witchcraft against you. And they can tell when somebody should put roots on you. Because everyone don't like you. If you got the anointing. There's some folks that will get jealous. They don't know the price that you had to pay. It may be folk in your family that may get jealous. It may be folk on your job that may get jealous. And guess what? There's even preachers. Uh -oh. They may get jealous of you. Because they have not been appointed. But you've been appointed. And because you anointed God has appointed you. You know why? You ain't got just you ain't got no puppy love, but you got real love. Because you love of the Lord with all your heart. So I say all your heart. All your heart. All your soul. And all I'm almost there. All your mind. But it said thirdly teachers. Somebody said teachers. And after that, miracles. This is a deliverance ministry. Yes. This is a deliverance ministry where demons are going to come out of somebody. Yes. You came on the arterial skin of the apostle. Yes. I heard about him. And the mantle was on you. That means blind eyes. It's going to come open. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, my help coming back. That means deaf ears. It's going to come open. You know why? Because you don't got no puppy love. But you got the real love. I kiss my high five. And say puppy love is not enough. A man that loves God is an attractive man. A woman that loves God, you already attractive. Can I preach the possum? I feel the Holy Ghost before I take my seat. Let me tell you a testimony. Why well, I told the Lord I love him. The devil decided to test me. I posed to get married 13 years ago. And my, I was in love with her. How many have been in love before? Y'all been in love before? You've been in love before, right? When you love somebody, you do anything for that person. Right, am I talking right, preachers? When you love somebody, even when they're doing you wrong. Oh, you know I'm coming at, right? You still love that person. That's how Jesus is. In spite of the wrong we did. Oh, you still love it. Can I preach here? And this one, I love this woman. But the devil decided to test me out. Four months before the wedding, my ex fiance told me, she said, if you really, really love me, she said, give up preaching the gospel. She said, give up preaching the gospel. You know, I told my ex fiance, I said, I love you. But I don't love you that much. <laughs> that much. I know you're dark and lovely, and not dark and ugly. I'm not going to give up Jesus. Y'all don't hear me, do you? Yeah. Y'all want me to fix it. I said, I'm not going to give him up. So I dropped that zero, and said, God gave me a hero. My hero is Jesus. My hero is Jesus. You don't need no crap. Wonder where Christ is at. You don't need no dope. The God is a great hope. Yeah. You don't need no cocaine. Just get in God's domain. You don't need no angel dust. In God we trust. If I was you, I gotta take my seat. When I was you, don't you give up. Don't you give in. Hug somebody. Kiss my 
my big one. They say, neighbor, but don't you give up. Help us on the way. Apostle, you there. The Lord told me, hey, this is just a rehearsal. This is just a rehearsal. Are we going to really sing? But look where you brought me from. Number seven. When I say seven, if you really love your Lord, I want you to forget about your shoes. Forget about your suit. We're going to shop the victory up in here. But this is a house of deliverance. But this is a holy house. And Jesus said, in My house shall be called the house of prayer. No homosexuals in the God don't give you a homo ghost. He don't give you a holy ghost. We got you to be homosexuals up in the churches. God's an apostle. Keep preaching holiness. Our hell got to be lesbians up in this, not this, not this church. I'm a bass guitar player. They got the gift, but not living holy. They're not attractive. They got the gift, but the man's still cheating on his wife. They got pastors still having affairs on their wife. If you don't repent, somebody say repent. He's going to hell. Keep preaching holiness. Come on, hug somebody. Say keep preaching holiness. No matter who don't like it, because puppy love is not enough. I'm about to get out of here. Are you ready? Someone say get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. I must count the number seven. When I say seven, I want you to shout the victory. Not for me, but do it for him. And let's celebrate the man of God. Are you ready? Somebody say one. The victory I won. Somebody say two. But Jesus brought me through. Somebody say three. I got the victory. Somebody say four. I love it more and more. Somebody say five. He kept me alive. Somebody say six. When you were sick, he would heal your body. Are you ready? Are you ready? Seven. Four. Seven. 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 Come on. 